Okay, hello everyone. How are you today? I hope you have a great weekend today as well. So, this is Sunday on the 18th of July. So, as usual, I will cover the forex pairs and also commodity gold and US oil and also some indices. And in the end, I will cover the news for next week. We have a couple of news about the monetary policy meeting and also retail sales and a couple of other uh, news next week. So we'll review these to prepare for the trades for next week. So let's see, let me get ready here. Um, all right, so let's see, I will set the screen. Hopefully my sound is okay. My, is my voice clear and the screen is clear as well? Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Let me squeeze my face. Okay, and there you go. All right, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is based on my own experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at a risk. And if you can follow the guidelines or rules in this live stream, that will be great. All right, so quickly say hi to everyone. Bachit and Sulinanto and Sorosh, Asif, Haradol and Muvi, uh, Muhammad and Gabby, The Anne and Tam. Thank you for joining everyone. It's so nice to see everyone again here in this live stream. So let's get into the topic. So I will cover these Forex pairs first. I have 20 pairs on the watch list. So I will cover quickly on the weekly time frame and see which way the market is going. So first I will cover the euro based pairs. So I will cover euro, USD, euro AUD, euro pound, euro JPY, euro CAD and euro Swiss franc. So first let's look at the euro USD. So this is right now the price is in the Kumo, simply speaking. So this is ranging now. It's ranging and the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat too, Kijun Sen is going into the Kumo and Chikou Span below the candles technically but this is still very close uh, to the candles so this is still ranging I would say. So as per daily chart or the lower time frames are showing downtrend on the Euro USD but um, it can be bullish anytime soon. We might see bullish candlestick next week as per weekly chart so we have to watch out for the retracement that can happen at any time. So the next one is Euro AUD. Euro AUD is also ranging, retracing. The price is in between Kumo and Kijun Sen. And when you see this setup where the price is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, this is also considered to be the range market. And you can also tell from this Kumo has been flat. And also, you think there is, there is a um, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross happen already and Chikou Span breakout is about to happen. And if next, new, next week is going to be bullish, then we see clear breakout of the Chikou Span and the market will go into the Kumo and might be into the Kumo some, some while and once it breaks, that will be a bullish trend afterwards. So um, yeah, next week still could be the range, so we have to be careful. And also in terms of price action, as I mentioned earlier, um, there is a engulfing candlestick structure. The previous week, I mean the second previous week on the week of uh, 5th of July, if you see high and low in this candlestick, this has been engulfing the previous candles and also it's engulfing the last week candle too. So when the market breaks, the resistance level at 1.5976 level next week, we might see a continuous bullish trend. And then you might see uptrend in daily chart or the forward chart, and then we can follow this lower time frame uptrend. But once again, as per weekly chart, this is still flat. So we have to be careful for the retracement that can happen anytime next week. 
So let's move on to Euro Pound. Euro Pound is going down now. This is Kumo down, Senko Span A down, and Kijun Sen down. Tenkan Sen is all also downwards, and the market has been resisted by the Tenkan Sen few few uh, weeks in the past, and Chikou Span still below the candles. So last week I was bullish, but uh, next week could be bearish. So we might see downtrend in lower time frames, so we can look for the sell chance next week. And next one is Euro JPY. Euro JPY right now is flat on the weekly chart because the Kumo is flat and Kijun Sen also flat. The market retraced all the way back to Kijun Sen now. And Chikou Span is above the candles, but technically this is retracing backwards to the candles too. So in lower time frames, we might see downtrend, so we can follow the lower time frame. And, but we have to mind this 129.626 level, because this is at the Kijun Sen on weekly chart. So the market might be supported at this level and goes up next week. But once the market breaks that level, then we can expect the market go down continuously and go down to the weekly Kumo next week. So here is the Euro CAD. This is now retracing backwards too. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So in this case, by Ichimoku nature, the market can retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen. So if you see uptrend on lower time frames, we can follow that. And the Kijun Sen level is going to be the potential target. In this case, at 1.5081 is the target for next week. So let's move on to Euro Swiss Fran. This one also retracing backwards on the weekly chart and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat too. But we saw that there is a Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross, sorry, dead cross. And this shows that this is the end of the uptrend on this weekly chart. So if the market continuously go down this way and we see Chikou Span breakout and Kumo breakout and we might see a downtrend continuously. But until it happens, the market still seems to be the range. And last week was the doji candlestick. And when you see doji candlestick like this, the market has no trend and no direction. So better to wait until this doji candlestick breakout to look for sell chance. So in this case, Precisely speaking, the level of the support of this doji is at 1.08035. So better to wait for that level to break next week and then look for the sell chance. And once the market retraces backwards from here, then uh, most likely still it's, it's going to be in the range. And also you can draw the descending trend line on the weekly chart like this way. So the market can retrace all the way back to that level too. But since this is a cease from pair, the market can be very tricky next week. So um, you can have, you can put it as low priority on your watch list. So now let's cover some of the USD based currencies. So first I will cover the USD JPY. And this one is now flat. Still flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, the market is ranging now. It's been retracing backwards for the last two weeks, but somehow the price is above or on the Tenkan Sen now. And Chikou Span is above the candles, so this is technically bullish. The market could go up on the bullish end wave like this way. So if we see uptrend and lower time frames in like daily chart or the forward chart, then we can follow and look for buy chance. And moving on to USC Swiss Fran. Dollar Swiss Fran is now ranging flat, Kumo flat. And this Kumo part is very tiny, very tiny and very small Kumo. So um, it's tricky, first of all. And also the price is in the Kumo now. So this is also showing tricky ranging market. So my advice is to stay away from this pair. So, and here is the USC CAD. This is also retracing. For the last two days, it's been bullish. So we might see uptrend 
in the daily chart or the lower time frames. If that's the case, then target is going to be the weekly Kumo. Because weekly Kumo is uh, now flat and Kijun Sen flat too. So the market is heading towards back to the Kumo on the weekly chart. And this is retracement. So uh, Ichimoku, you can also use it as a retracement and you can potentially use this Kumo Senko Span AB or Kijun Sen for the retracement targets. And right now we see the price broke the Kijun Sen and it's heading backwards to Kumo. Before that, there is a reversal line at the level of 1.2616, so it might be reacted and go down this way. But uh, since this is retracing backwards and broke the Kijun Sen, most likely the market retraces backwards to Kumo in the weekly chart. So let's get to the pound pairs. Pound USD on the weekly chart, this is now flat also and retracing backwards. Uh, the Kumo is up. Kumo is up still. The Senko Span B is up, A is up. So it shows that this is uptrend still in the long term. But in terms of the short to mid term, this is flat. As Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen showing this is flat, uh, the market retracing backwards. And Chikou Span also touching the candle. So this is also showing flatness. And so the, the thing we have to keep in mind is that uh, the level of 1.36608 level, because once the market breaks that level downwards, then what's going to happen is that it will become a double top or head and shoulders. If the market still goes up and down this way, it's going to be head and shoulders. And this is going to be the neckline breakout. So when you see neckline breakout on the weekly chart, it becomes more powerful and the market can retrace backwards all the way and breaks a Kumo and the market might go down this way. Right now, at this point, we don't know uh, if it happens or not because there is no neckline breakout yet. But if we see this sometime next week or next next week, then this downtrend scenario is possible. But from now, uh, since the Kumo is showing still uptrending, the market is still um, higher lows and higher highs, technically speaking. So in that theory, this is uptrend still. So this is on the end wave, like this way, and the market still could go up along the way. So whether the market breaks the neckline of 1.36608 level or not is the key for next week. So let's move on to the pound JPY. So pound JPY on the weekly chart is also showing retracement and the Kumo flat, Kumo is flat unlike pound USD. Uh, in pound JPY, the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat too. So looks like market is heading backwards to Kijun Sen. So since this is a Kijun Sen uh, retracement in the middle of retracement, we can start. We can count the number of candles after the bounce, after previous bounce of Kijun Sen, because most of the case, or in theory, the market retraces backwards to Kijun Sen for uh, within 26 candles, and Tenkan Sen within nine candles, it tends to retrace backwards. If it doesn't, then that means the market is overbought or oversold. So in that sense, this is exactly on, on the week of 21st of December last year is the bounce of the Kijun Sen. And since then, let's count how many candles so far up to last week. And we see that this is 30 bars. So 30 bars is more than 26. So in that sense, the market can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen next week. So that means we might see bear trend on the lower time frames that we can follow. So sell will be sell could be the right call for next week on this particular market. And uh, yeah, so that's a technical analysis by using retracement back to Kijun Sen 
and it, it applies on any time frames. You can use it on the daily chart or the forward chart, weekly chart, even one hour chart retracement is valid. If it's too low time frames, then Ichimoku strategies are not so reliable, but uh, one hour chart or higher time frames are good to use. So that's a scenario for next week. I think so next week is gonna be bearish. So we'll see. So now moving on to pound AUD. This is now uptrending in the lower time frames. As you can see here, Kumo's up and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen is up and Chikou span above the candles. So this is bullish in the long in the short midterm. But in the long term, the price is still in the Kumo now. So although we see uptrend, the market can be spiky in lower time frames. So even if you see daily chart or forward chart to be uptrending next week, always have to watch out for the retracement since weekly is still in the Kumo here. And especially, not only the market is in the Kumo, but also the market is, the, the Kumo is very thick right now. And the market is trying to penetrate the Kumo thickness here. So when, when you see market to be in that Kumo, in a very thick Kumo like this, lower time frames can be very tricky. So uh, yeah, always make sure to play stop loss and risk management will be a key to trade on this pound AUD. So let's move on to the next one uh, is pound CAD. This is ranging now. Uh, I have been talking about this market for a couple of weeks and it's been ranging now. There's no market movements, uh, there's no trend, so better to stay away. And finally, covering the pound Swiss run for the pound base pair. So this is also, this is actually uptrend on the weekly time frame because you see that Senko span A angle is up and Kijun Sen pointing upwards too and Chikou span above the candles. So this is bullish and we might see some bullishness next week still. And let's cover the AUD pairs. So AUD USD. On the weekly chart, now the price is going into the Kumo. And uh, like I said before, when you see the price into the Kumo, and when, when it's thick Kumo like this, when the Kumo is very thick like this, then the market can be tricky. So in the lower time frame, this is downtrending. You see downtrend, daily chart, forward chart, and lower time frames on this pair, but uh, it might be tricky. So we can look for sell chance, but uh, just to keep in mind that the market is in the Kumo on the weekly chart. So let's move on to AUD CAD. So this is also uh, downtrending on the Kumo itself. Weekly Kumo showing downtrend and the Ki uh, Tenkan Sen showing downtrend, Kijun Sen showing flat. So this is bearish but the price is below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. So technically this is bearish, but since the price is in the Kumo, it might be in the range or volatile in lower time frame, spiky. So in, for the last couple of weeks, it's been ranging. So uh, unless the market breaks the previous support at uh, 0 0.9245, we better not take trace. And AUD JPY is also retracing backwards while Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So looks like the market is heading towards back to Kumo. So if you see downtrend in lower time frames, that will be a good sell chance. And since this is still above the Kumo, um, the price can drop down to the Kumo stably. So we might see some selling opportunities next week on the daily chart or the forward chart. So let's move on to AUD Sifran. So this is also retracing backwards and the price is heading backwards to Kumo. So we might see downtrend in lower time frames and we can sell. So let's go to the CAD pairs. So CAD JPY, this is also retracing backwards and the potential target is down to the Kijun Sen at 86.06 uh, level. The price has been above the Kijun Sen after the break 
on the week of 23rd of November last year. Since then, um, it's been for the last 34 births. So 34 is more than 26. So in that sense, we see we might see some retracement down to Kijun Sen. So that means next week could be still bearish. So the target in this case is going to be on the Kijun Sen weekly at 86.06 level. So next one is the CAD Sysfran. This is flat ranging. The price is also retracing back to Kijun Sen. So Kijun Sen on the 0 0.7216 is going to be the potential target. Oops, sorry, hold on, let me turn this back. Okay, yeah, so the potential target is going to be on the Kijun Sen weekly chart. This one too. Okay, so let's go to the next one is Swiss from JPY. This one is flat, flat Kumo flat Kijun Sen, and the price has been supported by this Kijun Sen twice before, and it's been ranging. So we're not sure which way it's going. The market might continuously going up or it might go down, and we don't know which way it's going. So we better stay away in this market. Even if you see downtrend in lower time frame, it might turn bullish anytime soon. So better to stay away in this particular market. So that covered the whole forex pairs of my watch list. So now I will cover gold and US oil, WTI US oil, I will cover this. And thank you for the comments, everyone. Um, I will come back to these comments after I screen these pairs and markets. Later part of today's live stream is going to be free discussion. But for now, let me focus on these pairs on my watch list and news so that for those who watch archive can track what I speak easily. So, uh, so here is gold weekly chart. Yeah, clearly this is ranging. At a glance, hopefully you know that this is a ranging market since the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, price in the Kumo and Chikospan touching. So what to do in this case is to stay away. Okay, last week was Doji candlestick. So um, if you're looking for some trading opportunities in lower time frames, we better wait for the breakout on either direction at the support of uh, 1790.87, uh, sorry, or the resistance level at uh, 1834.76 level. In the short term, this is bullish, so still there's a potential breakout upwards. So if you see the breakout of the resistance level of this last week doji candlestick at 1834.76, then that will be a buy chance. You might see some buy opportunities afterwards. But just keep in mind that the price is still in the Kumo, ranging as per Ichimoku on the weekly chart, so the market can be spiky and volatile in lower time frames. And let me cover crude oil, and this is now still ranging flat, retracing. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat too, and if you see the market retracing backwards last week, you have to see this as a Tenkan Sen retracement. Tenkan Sen bounce happened on the week of the 17th of May. And the market has been above the Tenkan Sen and now it's retracing backwards. And there is a bit room to trade down to the Tenkan Sen level of 69.15. And the market has been above the Tenkan Sen after the bounce for the last nine bars. So Tenkan Sen takes nine candles high and low and takes mid price and in theory the market retraces backwards after nine candles. So last week was ninth candle and next week we might see the touch on the Tenkan Sen. So in that sense next week is not still a good buying week and next next week could be another uptrend if it persists uptrending. So, uh, yeah, so let's look at some indices. 
first covering Nikkei. This is still in the P wave. Kumo flat Kijun Sen is flat also, but since Tenkan Sen is coming below the Kijun Sen, this P wave can be broken downwards in this condition. Let me put this arrow and we'll come back to this chart next week, see if the market breaks P wave downwards or not. Chikou span touching too, so this is ranging technically, but since this is in the P wave, and within the P wave, most likely the breakout direction is the Kijun Sen, and sorry, the Tenkan Sen location to Kijun Sen. If Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen when it's P wave, it tends to break downwards. So I do see that there is a potential breakout downwards next week, so we'll see. And um, let's look at the Dow Jones. Yeah, Dow Jones still has been ranging. Uh, the price has been resisted at the previous high, 35.16, and now still ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So next week uh, could be range. If it breaks, then we can of course look for a buy chance, but it might be retracing back to Kijun Sen or Tenkan Sen. So we'll see which way it goes. Right now there is no trend, so I don't feel positive to look for buy chance on this one. And here's Nasdaq. Nasdaq showing uptrend nicely. Uh, Kumo's up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou span above the candles. So this shows continuous uptrend, and the market is growing up, and it's almost breakout of the run number 15,000. If it breaks it, then we do see continuous uptrend. So as long as it goes, we can look for the buy chance. But always make sure to have a stop loss because of this news in the markets, what the Fed says, there might be some retracement anytime by the news. So always have a stop loss and trail profits along the way. So next one is the S&P 500. This is also bullish. Kumo is showing bullish. Senko span B up, A up. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both up. And Chikou span above the candles. So the price can retrace back to the Tenkan Sen. But in this case, this is continuous bullish trend. So let's move on to the Euro stocks. Euro stocks on the weekly chart is now ranging. I mean, uh, retracing, because Kijun Sen is flat. So if the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it can drop down to Kijun Sen. And this is where we have to still wait for the buying edge. This is bullish, but since the market retracing, while it's bullish trend, uh, we might, uh, we have to wait until we see the clear bounce by the Tenkan Sen, and then look for buy chance afterwards. If the market breaks Tenkan Sen next week, then better not to look for buy chance anymore. Okay, so let's move on to the next one is the UK 100, FTSE 100. This is now still consolidating, ranging. The Kumo flat, well, Senko span A is technically up, so it shows uptrend in the long term, but uh, the Kijun Sen is flat. So in that sense, and since the last week broke the Tenkan Sen downwards, it can retrace back to Kijun Sen. So I don't feel also positive to look for buy chance in this market either. So simply better wait for the breakout of the resistance at 7.221 level and afterwards look for buy. And the next one is CAC 40 francs. So this is also consolidating and retracing backwards. But unlike euros, uh, unlike the FTSE 100, this CAC francs, the price above the Tenkan Sen still. So the market could be bouncing by the Tenkan Sen and it goes up next week. But once again, if, the, if it breaks the Tenkan Sen next week, then it can retrace back to Kijun Sen. So if you see this next week, then we have to hold. 
as long as price above the Tenkan Sen in this case, that's okay to look for buy. All right, so here's Nifty chart. Nifty chart showing uptrend right now. The Kumo Senko Span B up, A up. Kumo itself is thick enough and long enough. And also Kijun Sen angle is moving upwards now. And then this uh, Tenkan Sen is showing uptrend and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is bullish. And slightly last week, it broke the previous high at 15,918.75 and the market is heading towards the next run number, 16,000. So this is bullish and we can look for buy chance next week. So let's move to Hansen. Hansen retracing backwards to Kumo and it's ranging consolidating. So there's no trend and no trace. Yeah, AU200 also retracing backwards, but since this is also above the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, this is still bullish market. Um, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, so next week could be bearish or range, like we see earlier on these last four weeks has been Doji candlesticks, so there's no volatility. The volatility is very low and uh, there is no uh, trends in the market even in lower time frames. So the market could retrace back to a Tenkan Sen and it might go up in this direction. So let's move on to the DAX index. DAX index is also showing bullishness since the price above the Tenkan Sen and if you see Tenkan Sen angle, it's pointing upwards in this direction. So. Next week could be a bounce by the Tenkan Sen and uh, yeah, next week or next next week could be the breakout is expectation. This is called ascending P wave. So the potential breakout upwards could be happening. So the market can break the number uh, 15800 uh, and it might break upwards in this direction. All right, and yeah, that's it basically for these indices. So let me cover the news for next week, and then I will come back to these comments. So every time you have to watch news, I mean, you have to, you have to know what kind of news comes on that day. Every time before you take trades, make sure, make sure to come to the news website and see what's coming on that day because news can wipe out all these technical analysis and confirmations. So next Monday we have no news and next Tuesday 20th we have the uh, RBA minute, meeting minutes in Australia so AUD could be affected on Tuesday and also there is a uh, bank lending survey in Euro, ECB. So Euro pair could be affected by this. And moving on to Wednesday, we have the policy meeting in Japan. So JPY could be affected by this news and also retail sales in AUD. So if you're taking trades on JPY AUD, we have to be careful on the Wednesday. And Thursday 22nd, we have another uh, rate decision, in-test rate decision and Euro by ECB. So Euro pairs could be affected by this news. And of course, also there is a monetary policy meeting conference on ECB. So Euro could be affected by this news too. So Thursday is going to be on Euro day. And Friday we have Lots of big news is too. So let me scroll down. Friday the 23rd next week, we have first of all, the uh, market, market manufacturing PMI in Germany. So, and also PMI report is, will be there too in Germany. So Euro could be affected by this news and also PMI in Euro itself will be there too. So Euro also have to be careful on next Friday. And then Pound also has 
market services PMI. And then afterwards, uh, there is a retail sales report in Canada. So CAD is going to be affected by this. So overall, next week, we have to be careful for the policy meeting in Japan on uh, Wednesday and also Thursday, Friday, we have to be careful on Euro and Pound and also CAD pairs. So that's the overview of what can come next week. Okay, so that covers a whole overview of the markets and also this news as well. So let's have some free talk for the next 20 minutes or so and then I will end the live session. So once again, thank you for joining on this relaxing Sunday. Great to see you everyone. So let's see. Oh, I do see many comments. Great to see you everyone. Yeah, the video is working okay. Yeah, it's working okay. I, I, I do see my own live stream on my mobile and it looks okay. Oh, can see the video? No? I do see multiple comments where we can see video. Oh, okay, so it's okay then. It's okay. All right, good, good. Yeah, I thought I, I thought that I was going to be talking and talking without any videos, so yeah, it's working great. Okay. Truth, yep, I have made some comments on Indian market Nifty chart. Yeah, Nifty is showing bullish, bullishness after this wedge breakout. The market has been above the Tenkan Sen and is showing bullishness. So next week could be break, a bullish and breakout on the round number 16,000. It's possible. All right, thank you for joining everyone from different parts of the world. It's been such a pleasure for myself to be able to share my knowledge in this live stream on YouTube. All right, let's see, Preet says, uh, if you're telling that the market is trending bullish or bearish, do you mean the trend in relation to only the last candles or is it multiple previous candles on weekly charts or day chart? Uh, yeah, I mean by the multiple previous candles on the weekly and daily charts. And also location, the price location to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. If the market is above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, then simply that means this is bullish market as per Ichimoku confirmation. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So always make sure to look for the trending market, trending pairs, and then follow a trend and direction. Okay, uh, let's see. For a resistance line, how many previous candles do you take into consideration in order to be a real strong resistance or support lines? Um, I don't really, um, I don't really look at how many previous candles for the resistance or supports, but I will more focus on how many bounces in the previous. If you see more than three bounces, then the resistance line, support lines becomes more powerful. But if you only see one bounce, then um, it might be a bit weak and the market can break easily. But in terms of how many candles in the past, I, I go back as long as I can. All right, Darius says, uh, Better to stay away from all these pairs. You never know for sure which direction it will come. Yeah, we never know which gonna, what's going to happen in the future after all. So we have to create scenarios and always look at the markets in logical and objective way. Otherwise, you can lose so easily. Yeah, because we are dealing something unknown in the future. So, yeah, better not to predict in the future, but we have to create plans and scenario just like we set up businesses in real life. Each position 
should be treated as a business. You have to calculate risk per trade, you have to calculate risk per business, and also target and goal, goal setting of the position, and how many, how many days, how many hours, minutes you hold is also important. And the most important thing is, like I've been mentioning, to become a non-losing trader is a key to success. So hopefully, you learn the essence in my YouTube channel in this concept. Yeah, uh, let's see. Ajay says, uh, kindly share wave analysis on oil. All right, let me check the oil and wave analysis. So oil has been retracing backwards now, but um, let me see. In terms of the wave here, um, the market is in the bullish in the wave. After this retracement, so this there were uh, reverse in the wave. And after this, after the week of the 2nd of November last year, it has been bullish. It has been bullish in the wave, and this is going up now. So right now, I would say that this is still bullish unless we see reverse in the wave on the weekly chart. This is still bullish. All right, let's see. Preet says, um, please can you explain the nine candles and 26 candles in relation to upward or downward trend so as to consider the trend to be changing its trend? Um, yeah, so if you see the Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving up, of course that's uptrending. Like you see here in the past, this, is part, this part is uptrending, but once you see the market retraces backwards, you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen going flat. And if it reverses more, then you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen dead cross, and that means that they, that's the end of the uptrend as per Ichimoku. So for now, as long as market is above the Tenkan Sen, this is bullish market. I hope that answered to the question. All right, let me cover some of the questions in the chat. All right, Atharva, thank you for the comment. Yeah, finally, I moved into this new apartment. So still settling down, I have to buy some more furniture and some uh, carpets and everything, the pictures and wall. But at least now I can do live streams and take trace. I have internet connection and utilities, everything, lights and everything. So yeah, it's good to go. All right, let's see. Richard says, if you see some big news coming in the midweek, do you wait until the news have been released before buying or do you still buy those currencies earlier in the week? Yes, I do buy these currencies in the week before the news, but at the news, I will make sure to put the stop loss to break even. Otherwise, I just close the position and come back to the chart after the news. Because if you see news, whether it's a, it's a big or small, uh, it can affect the markets and uh, you might see huge spikes up and downwards. And we never know until the news releases and until, the, until we know, we see how market reacts by this news. We don't know which, whether the market is gonna be bullish or bearish or affected by the news. So. Yeah, myself, I do read news and uh, I watch news, but uh, I am more of a technical analysis trader, and I don't take trades by the news usually, because unless the market, unless news releases, and unless we see reactions by the news uh, of the market, we never know uh, whether it goes up or down. So. 
Yeah, the more important thing is about the risk management than prediction. Yeah, Hari, you're welcome here. Johnny says, uh, when will the next live stream? Um, so I do the live streams or video session uh, that starts at 2 p.m. UTC time zone almost every day on my YouTube channel. Unless I have some personal uh, things happening in life or uh, unless I have an emergency calls or anything like that, I do this live streams or if I have meeting and if I have time, then I will record video before that and upload at 2 p.m. UTC time zone on my YouTube channel. So at least you can learn on my YouTube channel, whether it's a video or a live stream. I do talk about in different topics by Ichimoku. And also I create my own, I have my own strategy called KTS. Case trading strategy is my original strategy where I use the Ichimoku in multiple time frames and looking for the entry edge by 5 or 15 minute time frames and stop loss break even and risk management. And I share these knowledge is too in this YouTube channel. So there are two, two sides of my YouTube channel. One is the pure Ichimoku teaching based on the original book. And that will be covered in this public live streams and also the Ichimoku community. And when it comes to my own strategy, I deeply share it on the GTS class. Okay, let's see. Dario says, uh, better to buy gold for all money you have and close your eyes because sky is no limit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the risk management, yes. Atharva says, um, hey, okay, can you make a video describing the procedure to get citizenship in Dubai? Um, technically, there is no citizenship. You can all, only get the visa in Dubai. But yeah, I will talk about the whole process uh, of how I relocated to, from Japan to Dubai on the second channel. So I am actually thinking, I'm writing down the steps that I took from applying visa in, in March and also came back to Japan and get this paperwork done and relocate to, Japan, relocate to Dubai in July. I have written all these out and I think I will create like a simple slide and explain the step-by-step -step of my uh, footstep uh, for the location on my second channel. So yeah, once it's out, you can just watch a video or it could be live stream, you can just enjoy. Oh, Lebo Gang, thank you for joining. First time on my live stream. Nice to have you here. Thank you for the comment. Okay, so I'm about to end the live stream, so let me, co let me cover a couple of other comments now. The look says, uh, market always follows the main trend after a high impact news co uh, cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after news, we come back to the charts and see if we have any trends or not. Yeah, Richard, you're welcome. Let's see. Yeah, then once again, thank you for joining from different parts of the world. Nice to have everyone here in this live stream. Can you please touch on gold? Sure, briefly speaking, gold is in the range. On the weekly chart basis, the Kumo's flat, Kijun Sen flat too, Chikospan touching, and price within the Kumo now, so this is ranging. But in the short term, I do see that this is uptrending for the last four weeks, so um, if the market breaks, the previous 
weeks, doji candlestick resistance upwards at 1834.76 level, then that will be a buy chance. But even so, the market is still in the range, so it can retrace backwards anytime soon. So if you are if you're trading besides gold, then you better go for other trending markets than this one. Kishore says, okay, I saw your trading history in your profile. You trade with very small stop loss. So in which time frame you check Ichimoku because in the daily chart or the forward chart, it can easily hit the stop loss. I take trades based on the lower time frames. So five or 15 minute time frames I take trades. Yeah, thank you for uh, viewing the, uh, the history, my trade history on my profile page. Yeah, so I do post my history there for the two. So for the year of 2021, I will start to do it. Just upload these uh, information on my profile page. So uh, yeah, my stop loss is very tight in that sense. Oh, Rose. Uh, Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, once you join as Ichimoku community member, then please access, please come to this um, Ichimoku page. Please click on services, Ichimoku community. And uh, simply, if you come here, you have to join Discord. So access to Ichimoku community, and you can find the link to join Discord and connect to YouTube and Discord and then you can get all the perks. So a few more steps to do. And in case you have any questions or any, you, you have any difficulties, please uh, let me know by email so that I can respond to these, uh, I can support these uh, issues. The Rio says, I was joking with the gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, you're welcome. You're welcome here. Thank you for joining. Preet, you're welcome too. Happy Sunday. Let's see. Do you think basic, uh, do you think besides Ichimoku, three line breaks and Renko chart is effective too. I don't really use Renko chart, Renko Ashi, so I'm not sure to be honest. And I don't use Heikin Ashi either, so I prefer candlesticks because the Ichimoku lines react by the candlestick, candlesticks high and lows. So especially if you want to capture the time cycles, you have to use candlesticks. Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live stream for now and get ready for dinner tonight. So once again, thank you for joining everyone. It was very nice meeting you. So hopefully you have a nice rest of the weekend on Sunday and charge up yourself and get ready to take trades for next week. So yeah, I will see you on the next one. Until then, Please stay healthy. Looks like the number of uh, COVID cases still increasing some part of the world. So hopefully your family and friends, yourself, all healthy and safe. So yes, uh, I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy once again and stay gold. Right? Matane. I say matane and that means see you in Japanese, by the way. So matane. Thank you.